Hi, I'm Tom, and this is my Bird Cup inspired Mark II Polo Coupe. Casual. What, what is on, Tom? Hi, right, mate. Thank you very much for joining oh, us yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Let's both sit still. Um, so yeah, you're Tom, and you've uh, you've won a favourite ten award at our show last year. Yep. <clears throat> what can you tell us about your car? Well, it's a Volkswagen Mark II Polo Coupe. Nice. I bought it back in 2015. Okay. Um, I was taking my Mark 1 Caddy pickup off the road at the time and fancied a little run around while that was off the road. Mm -hmm. um, scrolled through face, uh, mar uh, Marketplace and eBay to see what I could find and this came up. I actually had one of these for my first car, nice. so it was a no-brainer really. I, so um, yeah, bought it for 550 quid I think. Just ran it around, put it on some coilovers and some wheels for a bit and just drove it around as a daily. Ended up keeping it a lot longer than what I was expecting. I think because I had one as a first car, I, that was keeping me... <laughs> Attached. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, February 2019, I think it was, I pulled the engine out with a mate the car sat for a bit because business got in the way. Obviously, that takes priority. Um, and I then came across a 1.4 16-valve engine that was up for sale and quite fancied that. So I bought that. So that was obviously not in the plan. Um, then again, that sat in the container for a few months. Business was just mad. No time to touch the car whatsoever. Um, and in the end, I actually sourced someone to do the engine conversion for me. Um, as much as I wanted to do it, it was just not getting done. And while I was earning money, it just made sense just to pay someone to just get that bit done and get the ball rolling. So yeah, I had uh, James Masterton. Um, what's, the, what's his business called? JJ Works. JJ Works, okay. Um, he, I traded it to him towards London. Um, it was a bit of a trek, but spoke to him on the phone, sound guy, like felt like I could trust him straight away, like he, he knew what he was on about. Um, so he did the engine conversion for me. Um, and then, yeah, then I ended up buying these wheels um 
came up obviously as you do scroll through marketplace and yeah. stuff like that and they were suddenly nothing has a priority when men are on fo- uh, yeah. marketplace <laughs> yeah like, that's it i've got my rent to pay yeah so these. they were they were in a bit of a sorry state when i bought them um the lips were just dull like they looked like they'd just come out of a scrap bin really they were heavily pitted i think they are an 80s wheel so they've been around some time yeah, they look bloody amazing, mate. Um, but yeah, so I, I tried the one of the front lips was actually dented and had quite a large chunk taken out of it. Um, so I was trying to source new lips for the fronts, but the PLS Hockenheims only came in a 13 inch, as far as I know, mm-hmm. and these are 14 inch. And I, I have not found another set of 14 inch. I've tried and tried and tried different companies around Europe to try and source some lips. No one could help me. So luckily, um, Wayne Ullman, who I kind of know from drag racing in the past, Mm -hmm. um, he actually filled the dent with material, machined it back, straightened the lip for me and saved what I already had. Which was absolutely fantastic, he, and he then earned, he earned some beer money. Then yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I was very grateful because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. There's lots of cars obviously out there with 500 plus brake horsepower. You know, mad. Like I, I, I know I'd love something like that, but I don't necessarily need a lot of horsepower to put a smile on my face. Do you know what I mean? So I've right. never, as far I mean, this engine with the bike carbs on it is, you know, probably close to 120 horsepower do you know what I mean so it's it's not anything crazy it's a ferocious but it <laughs> it does um yeah it puts a smile on my face we drive it hard it sounds amazing and yeah but the yeah the wheels were obviously what started the wide arch so you bought because the they are they're a minus et uh, 100 et on the rear Jesus. so they you definitely you need a lot to cover them. <laughs> you definitely decided to have these wheels fit this car. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. You're going to buy a car to fit. No, wheels. no, absolutely not. So I actually originally bought some uh, Mark II Golf Voomeran style arches mm-hmm. um, because from about ten o'clock to two o'clock they actually fitted the polo quite well it was just the tail ends of the arches which then obviously came away from the body so my original plan was to have someone cut the ends off and then build those bits to curve you know the mark II polo body so they fitted um so i took the car to fiberworks to alex which is not actually that far from here um and we started talking about those arches that i took with me and in the end he ended up going upstairs into his like aladdin's cave of bits bits, and came down with some uh mini uh, carbon fiber mini arches which is what the rears are actually based from so the the near side front is now like the offside rear so the backs of these arches would have been on the front of a mini so what what, sorry to interrupt you what's the total track width you've added uh, it's, to the it's car. about six foot on the rear i don't know what foot. is six foot now oh what, gee, what it's six foot wide yeah now. six wow. foot wide now yeah i don't i mean i don't know what it was before but i mean the arches have got to be probably six inches on the rear i would have thought how do you uh do you use that fuel filler door still yeah really? yeah the, the the arches have been just oh, just nice. they just skim the corner of the that filler is, cap yeah it's flush <laughs> Yeah, so um, yeah, so Alex yeah, used the mini arches to make a start on the rear, to give him a bit of a head start. Fronts were completely custom. He just built them to cover the fronts. Um, and then once he'd done all four arches, I went in. That was originally just the plan, just to do four arches. And then I decided that it needed some side skirts because they looked a bit ridiculous without anything tying them together. Um, so I had the side skirts built. And then the splitter has actually started off as a Mark One Golf Bug Cup splitter, um, but they had they normally return back along the arch before they go onto the Bug Cup arches along the wing. Right. So the the ends were cut off, and then Alex made the ends completely from scratch, so it tied in with the 
So like the these, arches, these kind of bits. Yeah, so like from here round, all of this is built to just fit on the front of the the wow. front of the arch. And then I have yeah, had to, I made up a template for the carbon fibre bit and he made me some carbon fibre rear arch spats what, as um, well. What uh what kind of response do you get when you take it to shows? Because you, you Oh it yeah, I mean I the the I finished the car at the beginning of I actually finished the car the Thursday morning before players and then drove to players on the Thursday afternoon. That was its first drive. And I did two and a half hours in it, not knowing whether it was going to make it or not. Oh, yeah, God, it was a bit. Me home. Um, and it, I was just, yeah, blown away. Like even driving from here to Chichester, the amount of people on the roads, like beeping, flashing, like lorry drivers, like it was just crazy. I knew myself that it does stand out a lot and it's not something that you see, if yeah. you know what I mean. It's, um, it, is, it is definitely out there and especially yeah. with it being like uh, i think a lot of people would i don't know they're more comfortable people are aware that mark one and mark two golfs are modified like yeah they sorts. dominate the, they the show this, don't they, they yeah the performance of yeah. polos are so underrated they when, are when you see something that's like this and you have done everything to it like every single piece of it has been made a little yeah. bit better yeah you should really pat yourself on the back because it, it, it is an amazing that. build I, um, that's what you got the gold sticker for sir this is it yeah <laughs> i couldn't believe it we were actually queuing for pizza at the time and the car was parked on the grass just behind the horse box where we were queuing and we was it was quite a long queue so we were just chatting away and then seeing four of your guys like around the car and then all of a sudden fucking whipped out a sticker and was but i was like what the fuck? <laughs> i was like and it was my first it was my first award of of the year so you guys were the ones that gave me my first award so yeah i was absolutely trapped.